CataractCoach.com, Choosing FACO Settings, Part 7, Ultrasound Energy, Continuous Pulse and Burst Modes. So cataract surgery, the magic is we can use ultrasound energy to break up the cataract, even dense ones. Ultrasound energy has a variable stroke length of percent of maximum. The frequency is constant, and the stroke creates a mechanical impact, a cavitation and implosion that helps break up the cataract, fluid and particle wave that also help, and a side effect, though, of heat. And so when we harness this ultrasound energy, we can go inside the eye here and aspirate and break up our cataract. Now, there is heat produced. If you want a simple test, take off your phaco sleeve and pinch the tip of the phaco probe, step on the pedal, and in an instant, you'll feel the heat. Good fluid flow will increase the dissipation of the heat, and you want to have a leaky incision. If you don't, this is what you can get, a phaco wound burn. And how do you prevent that? Well, we want a little bit of a leaky incision. And when you have that wound burn, even multiple sutures are going to be required to close this incision, which could induce irregular astigmatism. So definitely avoid that. Again, ultrasound energy creates heat. You want good fluid flow to increase the dissipation, and you want the incision to be slightly leaky. Also, let's lower our power settings and use FACO power modulations. If we modulate the energy we give, instead of just giving continuous energy, and if we use that technique, FACO chop, to break up the nucleus into smaller pieces mechanically, that can all help to minimize the total energy in the eye. But look even now how leaky the incision is. That's perfect. So the three basic types of modulation are continuous power, pulse power, and burst power. And they're different. And you can see on this graph, this is the effect of pushing the FACO foot pedal down. And these pulse and burst modes allow us to give less energy in the eye and allow more cooling of the tip. So again, this is a FACO uh, being performed, and we can see the FACO tip is occluded with lens material, ultrasound energy is applied, and the pieces are broken down and emulsified. Even this dense cataract can be safely emulsified. Now the basic continuous power means as we step on the pedal more in the position three, we have a variable amount of power. So the more you step on the pedal, the more power it gives, and the power is continuous. This mode is not often used. Pulse mode is the same concept. As you step on the pedal, more energy will be delivered in the eye, but the variable power is delivered in these pulses with areas of rest between them, and that allows cooling of the phaco tip. And so if you even listen quietly here in this case, you can tell this is a pulse mode. And you can have a very wide range of pulses. You can have just a few pulses per second, or you can have a hundred or more pulses in just one second. And by allowing energy to be interspaced with cooling, we prevent that heat buildup on the tip. We can also increase followability of the nuclear pieces so they come down the probe easier. Burst mode's different. Every burst of FACO power is identical. And as we step on the pedal, it decreases the interval between the bursts. So only a few bursts at the beginning and then at the end, continuous. And you can even end the duty cycle in Thaco Burst. So you can end it with a continuous power or end with a 50% duty cycle. We're going to talk more about these things like the pulse range and the burst range, how to program the machine. What are the duty cycles? Why does it make sense to have a variable duty cycle? We'll also talk about occlusion mode. Some FACO machines have the ability to change the energy delivery whether or not the tip is occluded with lens and material. That's an occlusion mode. And finally, we're also going to talk about different types of energy delivery. We can have longitudinal FACO. We can also have non-longitudinal, such as torsional or elliptical energy. And that just has a different movement. Instead of front to back with the FACO needle, it can move in circular type patterns. All of these things will be discussed in the upcoming weeks here on cataractcoach.com.